basically all my tools from the truck uh, there's still some other stuff that's going to end up in the trailer uh, but that's the that's the majority of my regular everyday tools and I'm going to come in here and rip a sheet of half inch plywood and I might as well include you guys in that as well this is kind of a design as you go situation I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do here. I'm just thinking if I'm putting the if I'm putting the screws through the plywood into the into the steel, I, I don't really need to beef up that plywood. There's no reason to. If it goes into the steel, it should hold pretty good. So I'll start to shelf off with a piece of one by four as a back plate. And I'll put another one down below and then I can I can make like the little little arms to help support so we're gonna make this uh, we're gonna cut these off at um, I'm gonna need two of these at 18 inches so I've got a mark at eight, uh, 18 and a mark at 36 so that'll give us uh, two 18 inch pieces of one by four batteries getting a little low on still so I believe plywood um, yeah 18 inch I might not need it that way I'll mount these first all right I'm still thinking about this as you can see all right so got a piece of three-quarter inch plywood uh, left over from something I'm not sure what uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and rip it um, I'm gonna rip it 18 or 18 inches long this way and then uh, I gotta check the battery but probably about maybe 12 inches this way and I'll dog ear the corners to try to basically make it where people don't hit their heads and stuff on it because uh, it's gonna be in a height wise it's gonna be in a spot where you definitely whack your head on it pretty good. So we'll go in and uh, set the table saw up and get that those rips done. I think this will work out all right. Already got this set to 18 inches.
So I did want to mention, um, anytime you're making a cut on a table saw like this, it's an extremely powerful table saw. Um, it's got a three horsepower motor on it. Uh, and probably the most dangerous part of table saw, table saws are, are not necessarily like getting cut. That's the obvious danger, is getting your hand in the blade or something like that. And obviously it would take your fingers and arms off really quick and easy. Um, but kickback is a real, uh, a real, real problem with saws like this. If you, if it binds, especially on a big rip like that, if it, if it goes goes crooked, and it's jammed between the blade and the fence, the only place for it to go is back. So anytime I make a cut like that, uh, you'll, if you see me on video doing it, you'll usually see me pause for a second, and basically what I'm doing is is imagining the whole thing you know like you, you gotta make sure you're clear on the other side where it's gonna come out um, and you don't really want to stand behind it although with a big rip like that you don't have a lot of choice and uh, it's usually pretty easy to control the the lumber with a with a, a larger rip but uh, I've definitely been hit a few times with, with wood flying back, so if you see me doing smaller stuff, you'll see I don't typically stand directly behind it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this down. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna, let me measure the battery. I'm going to measure the battery. I'll be back. So the battery is, uh, is six and a half inches deep, um, so I want to have a decent amount of room. To, I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to mount the battery to this. I may just screw um, like one by fours up through it, so it's got like a thing it sits down in. That's that would probably be sufficient. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rip this at nine inches, and that'll that'll give me a little more room to work. And if I want to if I want to change it down the road, I can do so. I have a tape measure on here that is supposed to uh, tell you how the rip is, but it's technically, typically not, I shouldn't say that, it's actually perfect. So this is actually a skinnier rip than the one I just did, uh, and it would be considered a bit more dangerous, but I think we'll be okay. <laughs> shelf three quarter inch plywood uh, we're gonna put this thing together maybe I'll build it in here probably go ahead and build it in here and lower the blade lower the blade on the table saw and now we have a pretty good size space to work with so I was going to use these but I think I'm going to do it like this. If I do it like that. And then I can screw this down to there. Um, screw this plywood into the steel behind it. And then I'll cut some, uh, some braces at like a 45. Screw it all together. And 
battery will go on top of here. I think we'll be in good shape with that. Thank <laughs> you.